You're gonna get a nice big pot. It can be, uh, I think this is a 10 gallon or a 20 gallon. And you're gonna fill it with, so this is technically a cactus, but they're not like other cactus. They like um, well-draining soil, but they like normal soil. So you can use, um, uh, where did it go? Oh, it's out there. But basically regular soil, and then you can put a little bit more perlite than usual. I like to put a healthy bit of sand in as well. Um, you can just get this at, all of these are just either Amazon or, or regular um, big box stores. Also a little bit of charcoal. I put probably half of this in each of these 20 gallon pots. And what I do is I put it in the 10 gallon pot that, uh, bin that's over, out there and I mix it all up and then I dump it in here and then uh, drain it with, or uh, spray it healthy with water. Okay. Fill the pot, then you're gonna um, pat it down with a bunch of water, let it sit and then you're going to put one of these guys in. Um, now, this guy right here, this is not completely done because I haven't put that thing on, but you wanna build some kind of a trellis to put in before you pot it because you want this to be, it's like umbrella so that when it comes over, it's supported. Otherwise, what you're gonna get is this guy. And you don't want this because if you don't trellis it like this, you're gonna have this guy. And once you have fruit, it's gonna hang really heavily because they're really heavy um, and it's gonna break. So you really need something that's gonna be supportive. Even if it's as simple as this. This is super easy. What it's gonna do is it's gonna trail up. I just trimmed a bunch of this because um, I'm gonna use this as root stock to graft, but it's gonna trail up and it's gonna hang over and that'll be fine um, for your purposes. But once you're ready, once everything is in there, uh, regardless of whatever kind of trellis you have, you're gonna put one on each side so you can have up to four these are all different varieties, which is fun. Um, this is a sugar dragon, uh, a physical graffiti. And so you're just gonna take some, some of this stuff, which is really nice and um, pliable, but not super, it's not gonna cut the plant. And you're gonna tape it with the back against the, uh, against the wood and then tie it together. And it's gonna grow up, 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 and then out. Um, there's a lot more to it than just that, but that's the general gist. So you're going to keep it covered. The cutting is going to keep it covered away, f away from the direct sun for about 15 days. And then you'll take this off and it'll be like this. And it'll one grow. thing that you need to know, I did it wrong on this one. So what you're supposed to do, how you have like one on each side, make sure that it grows one on each side, one stock the whole way. Don't let it offshoot. Um, unless you want to cut it, but don't let it offshoot until you get here Because once you get here, then you want it to umbrella out um, But you don't want it to umbrella out before it gets up here because what happens is If you let it do this before it gets up here, what happens is you have several like I did you have several um, buds, but what they did was they aborted themselves it's a terrible word, but that's what it is. So they got to this point. It had already flowered, and I removed the flower after it died, um, and the fruit is in here. But what happened was there were six on one branch, and it just fell off. Four of them fell off. But you won't have to worry about buds for about two years because first what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that it grows one on each side of the post, or if you only have this kind of a post, one on each side of the post, and then um, once it gets up here, um, then you can let it grow more. But you're going to keep pruning, so make sure that there's only one stalk this whole way. If it starts offshooting, you're going to trim it off, maybe give it as a cutting or just get rid of it. If you can't get a pot this big yet, it is okay to put them in a smaller pot. These are easier to find than these are. Um, you can put it in a smaller pot. But do be careful that if you leave it too long, things are gonna start growing in it. Um, these are really pretty, so I left them, but I took cuttings and that's what's in there. But um, you don't want it to be in a small pot for too long because then eventually, once it gets taller, like this one, this is gonna be really hard to repot. So that was a lot, but to recap, um, in a couple, probably a couple of videos, um, bottom lines, get a big pot, um, 10 gallon minimum, the idea is to 
planted in its forever home. Um, it's not like other plants where you don't want to up pot it too fast. This one will grow into the pot, but um, it's really, really difficult to repot it later once the roots have grown because they're really spiky. They hurt. Other bottom lines, make sure that you're using the right kind of soil. So regular soil is fine for like flowers or uh, vegetables and then add a bunch of sand and charcoal. Charcoal is optional. A bunch of perlite because you want it to be uh, quick draining. I have sphagnum moss, um, but that's also optional. Um, just make sure that you're putting a lot of that in there because you want it to drain really well, but you don't want it to be quite as much as succulent. So then what you're going to do is you're going to fill whatever pot you have, make sure to water it down so that it packs itself. Um, if you have a trellis, put this in first. Um, yeah, that was my dog yawning dramatically. Um, it would be better if you had a long time trellis, but these are really expensive. This is cedar wood, which I think the reason I only have two right now is because they were really expensive, but you can use pine. It just might event. It's not good for edible plants. Then you'll place the back against here. Um, make sure that it's tied with plant tape. Um, I don't know what this is actually called, but it comes in like a little roll. And then um, as it grows up, make sure that you cut off all the root, uh, the suckers that are gonna come off. Um, and then make sure that it goes all the way up to wherever you've got it going. And then once it gets to the top, let it grow out. There's a lot more after that point, but that'll take a year or two. They're super easy and very difficult to kill. Um, and they take a while, but they're so worth it. Um, I had, so this is my first harvest this year, but I had some dragon fruits from the neighbor who has the mother plant from all of it. And oh, it's so delicious. Eventually, you'll wanna check the pH balance and like get some recharge and then some just like, just like, this is just unscented, I hope it's unscented, yeah, fragrance-free <laughs> uh, Epsom salt, and that'll help when they they start turning yellow. Um, it's either because of pH balance or it's the sunburn. Uh, some of these that I have are because of sunburn, but um, you can check the pH balance to make sure. And, um, and this is to make sure that it, like, this is basically fertilizer. You won't need to fertilize yours until they start rooting. Hello. Um, so not for like a couple weeks or months. So this is how they bloom at night. And then the next day, next couple days, they start to wilt. And here is where the actual fruit starts growing. So you can see like, so you take some of this, I mean, don't usually use your fingers, but you just like make sure that it gets on the uh, stamen. I think it's what it's called. So this is all the pollen. And this is the part that like, so this is the male part, this is the female. No, this is the female part, that's the male part. And then once it closes like this, it all gets into here, which like right now is back here. So it's gonna start to die and it'll go back into here. And that's where the little fruit baby comes out. And so in order to avoid pests, when it starts to die, like gets to this point, you should be able to just gently, to see how it's like, should be able to just gently pull it out. I think I didn't wait long enough. I think I should have waited another day or two. Yeah, so that's that's this. That just happens to still be there. That I might have just ruined it, but we'll find out. So then you can put that in there so it decomposes. And uh, yeah, so I'll do that with this one when it's time. Hi, buddy. Hey, pretty girl. But yeah. So that's what you do. Oh, so pretty. So I might as well, while I'm out here, show you that I did um, prune these so that there's only one going all the way up. It's hard to tell because there's so many that are here. Hi, do you mind? Get out of there. Out of there. Um, but I had originally planted them wrong. I didn't plant them well. I should have put one on each side. Um, so what that means is I could actually put another one right here and I might have it go single up. And then once it starts to get out here, then let it grow out. And this one's interesting. So this, 
So they usually have three sides, but this one started off, I think, as a bloom, so as a bud. And then it, um, instead of aborting itself, what it did was it became another branch, um, which is really interesting. And then I was curious if it would like get rid of these fins and become three-sided, and now it is three-sided, which is really interesting. And so this one's doing the same thing. It started off as a bud, but for some reason this one just doesn't want a bud, so I might need to fertilize it better. Um, and then we've got some new growth right here, and I, I significantly pruned all of these. And here's my redwood, although I think it's got the, it's, it's already starting to die, which is really sad. But uh, yeah. Hi! Hi buddy! High five! <laughs> Try that again. High five. Yes. Good girl. So that's exciting. Another thing. Uh, you see all the spider webs right here? I don't know if you can see them. So I like to keep spider webs. It's my dog doing parkour. Uh, I like to keep the spider webs because it's natural pest control. Um, I don't like them inside my house. But here outside, like that's okay for me. I don't mind that because... They get rid of the bad bugs. So, like here's another one. Ah, just as long as I'm not walking in it, right? <laughs> but yeah, keep those spider webs. So again, I pruned so that only one comes up at a time. And now that I'm trying to make sure that that stays one, I'll get rid of all of these little guys. Because we don't want it to start branching out until after it gets to the top. So like this one's okay. But these ones down here, we want, and so I'm just putting it in here so that it can decompose. Um, did I get them all? I think I got them all here. Yeah. So I'm just making sure that all of the nutrients goes up the single stem and comes out here so that I can do this. Beautiful. I wanted to point out, so it's been like a week or two since I post, uh, made all those other videos and I removed all the shading from these. And I wanted to point out that if you don't shade it properly, stuff happens. So these little guys are because it didn't get enough <laughs> because I made it in the, I left it in the shade for too long. So 15 days might actually be too long. Um, because it really wanted to keep growing, but it didn't have enough light. Let's see if I can focus. Focus. There we go. It didn't have enough light, and so it was super, super thin. Um, so this is what they look like. Like, it did on all of them, pretty much. So maybe keep it to, like, five days, not 15 days. I think I conflated information, um... So, because you really want it to, to grow. <laughs> you don't want it to be all dinky like this. <laughs> yeah. And then over here, all the cuttings that I did. Like I said, they grow really, really fast. So this is my mystery one because I can't remember what was written on it. Um, and so one of them are, are planted in there. But um, yeah. So, hey, excuse me. Get out. Thank you, miss. And this is my mystery too, because I don't know <laughs> what it is. You see how it's kind of like written on there. Um, but I don't remember what it said. I left them in the pot for too long. Um, and you can see like, if you leave them in the pot for too long, um, stuff starts happening to it. But this guy has actually given me, a look at that, and it's still growing. It doesn't have enough light right now. So that tells me it wants to be out of the shade now. So I've been using this as shade. But it wants to be out of the shade. And in the sun. Out of the shade. Into the sun. Uh, finally get rid of this. I've been meaning to repot these. Hmm. Let's put it in here. Get in there. Do do do. Sure. There we go. 
do, do, do. Oh, there's a lot of them. It's taking up my valuable. I'm sure you're enjoying watching me repot my. What are these called? Uh, they're called volunteers. When you didn't pot them and they just show up, they're called volunteers. Look at that though. So nice. Um, where can I put this guy? About, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put them in here. Let's see if they're okay to be in the sun. I don't want them in here. So I just finished moving all of them from over there to over here. Now I've got a nice little sanctuary, no nursery. <laughs> and I did a mistake by writing the name on the back because that's going to go against the wood eventually. But some of them I, yeah, I wrote on the back of all of them. But, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see how that goes. Moved everything over here. I'm probably going to cover everything with the fence so that Little Miss Tyrant doesn't get into my garden. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no. Like that. Hey. No, get down. Yeah, I'm going to move that now <laughs> so she doesn't get in. She's so curious. Yay, all done. So she could totally jump over this, but don't tell her that. I'm not going to tell her. So when it's time, I can just pull this aside and walk in, put this back she needs behind there so she can't like, open it. And uh, yeah, and then I've got my water over here and when it's time to water. But this stuff, I um, wanted to let you know it looks like this. It's nice and pliable, um, which is very nice, so it doesn't hurt the plant. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave these for now because I want to. Uh, I'm gonna eventually use this as a rootstock, and the ones that are um, Vietnamese white, like that one way in the back, that one's also Vietnamese white. It's nice and stock, or it's sturdy and stock. And so I'm going to use that as root stock for when I graft some of these other ones onto them so that I can get more sugar dragon or more um, fiscal graffiti, more condor, more Shana. Um, figure out what the mystery ones are. Uh, yeah. So that's all for now. Those are the basics for the first year or two. Um, I might do another uh, part of this video that includes my per fertilizing, but I will tell you now, I am not great at fertilizing yet because I killed my avocado tree, but not really. It came back. It's trying really hard, but I think that's why my um, redwood also died was because I tried to fertilize it and probably put too much fertilizer in. And so that's what the recharge is for is to make sure that it doesn't burn. Uh, make sure the fertilizer doesn't burn the plants. So that's me. That's Bridget. That's all. Folks, bye.